Hello there guys and welcome to another episode of Dungeon Seas 2. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rover Slam Bean. Very warm welcome to you guys. Peace be upon you. Much love. Yeah, guys, let's talk if this is your first time joining in, let's talk a bit about Dungeon Seas 2. Dungeon Seas 2 is a role-playing game set in the world of Arana. It is the sequel to the first game first dungeon siege we played and finished on this channel the stories themselves do not continue but there are some story elements such as different races and different tribes and 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 and, and peoples and stuff that are brought up that are taken from the first game but in terms of story it's basically a whole new story um a lot of gameplay has been crossed over at least in dungeon from Dungeon Siege 1 to Dungeon Siege 2. I have played Dungeon Siege 3 and it is nothing like the first two games. I have it, I own it, and we will see if we can record it. I will check in the in the in the future once I'm finished with this series with Dungeon Siege 2. Um yeah, so nothing has really been carried forward other than the, like the U the UI, the user interface is very similar to the first game with a f with a lot of uh, changes obviously this game is way more streamlined funny thing i don't know if you guys remember from the first dungeon Seas game we played that uh, if we had to go on a lift or something like that or so or like a mechanism that would carry up our, our characters like three would get on and then it would go but like in dungeon Seas 2 luckily they've fixed it now and like every character has to be on the platform sure you are now and again it malfunctions but most of the time there's that so that's a breath of fresh air coming from the first game um coming out of dungeon Seas 2 so yeah that's that's something that's really cool about it um yeah guys it's not an open world game i guess i don't know what people would categorize as a semi-open world game but there is a set world there's different areas for each act I think there is one town in every act. So we are on in the town of Armanlu. We started out in the town of Ireland and we worked our way from there. And yeah, so um, you can go like from the last place you are in the game to the place you very be that you began in. So I think in a sense it's like semi open world, but yeah. Guys, it's just so it's it's one of those games where you gain experience and you level up your characters. You like choose skill sets. You find equipment. You find armor, swords, weapons, spells, and that kind of thing. And as your character increases in their level, they can use stronger equipment. And there's stores, and you can sell and buy. And uh, there are there's lots of secondary quests and quests that you do. Um, there is the main story quest, and then there's a set of secondary quests for every act. But it seems as though as that they might as well have just left the secondary quests altogether um, instead of categorizing them into every act because a lot of the secondary quests bounce in between the different acts. So it does seem it is a little bit chaotic, and I don't know if we're going to be able to finish every secondary quest. But my ambition is to as finish as mo as many as we can. Look, I also thought that at the end when we really get stuck and we don't and we want to do those other secondary quests, maybe I can wiki and see where everything is where all the ghosts are where all the different places are so that i can still cover that aspect of the game and i mean some people might think it's cheating yeah in a sense it is cheating um, i'm only going to do it when i really need to but i do want you guys to experience as much of this game as i can possibly give you so yeah all right another thing for newcomers is you'll see that blah 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 i've got a taskbar and a window is visible so this game i couldn't launch it with the base settings that it had i had to go to the steam local file settings and run it with the command full screen equals false because i couldn't see my cursor so now it forces the game to run in window mode and for some reason i can now see my cursor so there's that but yeah guys we went for about an hour and a half last time uh so yeah i don't know when you guys are going to see this video because load shedding has been breaking my back in terms of uh, the the channel and in terms of uploads so i've really been suffering but yeah guys i'm still creating videos so when they roll out they roll out so yeah but guys we're gonna go for about an hour tonight let's get started let's go for it okay so i'm not exactly sure where we are and what we're doing let's check it out chapter six princess evangeline after defeating the vikesh not at shambler the azunite scholar informed you that princess evangeline of the northern reaches has been captured by valdus dark wizards you must find her before it is too late 
Find the Azunite burial grounds. Okay. Okay, so we were in that snowy valley. Um, we were in that snowy valley. And we actually went one way in the opposite direction of the arrow. And we ended up finding a whole lot of tombs. And we discovered a whole lot of sarcophagi. And we... Um, we like found these death masks that uh, re that were were placed for these different guys who are brothers of the gatekeeper for the as unite burial grounds. So we actually uh, hit two birds with one stone there. We we wanted to go and investigate the other path, and we've it, we turned up c collecting uh, quest items for our next main quest. So we're still going to talk to the guy, and but we already have two out of the three masks, and I think the last mask is actually really just opposite the next the teleporter that we're going to go through now. So let me okay. So we're on track with that, guys. I did say in the last video that I may have I may want to do the second request in this video, some second request. I have changed my mind. I'm going to continue with the main story and I think when maybe when we get to act three we can come back and just be like okay let's do all the second requests kind of a thing you know but I'll see I'm, I'm not sure but I want to just carry on with the main quest you know at the moment let's check our inventory are we sitting on anything okay no yeah we needed to buy mana potions guys we definitely needed to buy mana potions um yeah let's quickly do this let's give tar the new spell book let's give her the new spell book okay we're going to take that out put that in bang 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 Bang, bang. Okay, sweet. All right, so we're gonna sell all this crap. We don't need this. Uh, we're gonna sell all of this. We're gonna get. We're gonna put that in our lockup. Yeah, and then he has also got something to sell and some reagents. Okay, so let's do that. Let's um, just go to the box here. Open it up. Uh, okay, what do we got? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put these away. Okay, we've got just enough space. Sweet. Okay, let's go and sell everything we're carrying and then uh, we can see what's next there. Yeah, guys, I'm really starting to get passionate about this YouTube channel. Um, I'm really just starting to love this game. This game has just like motivated me so much. Like the whole Dungeon Siege series and completing it. And it's just... For me, it's fun, guys. So, I'm not going to be like... We going crazy... Ones to that. Trying to manage myself all the time of which videos I want to upload. So, I'm really enjoying doing the Dungeon Siege series right now. So, that's what I'm going to do. But, yeah. I'm really loving it, guys. Getting into it. I'm getting all nerd up on this, up on this game. Full-blown nerd. I'm a 12, I'm a 11, 12 range resistance, 36 health, 4 health, 4 lightning resistance, 14 ice resistance, 1 intelligence, 10 lightning resistance, 4 mana. This is better, it gives us more resistance. Okay, this, I'm a 11, no, so, 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 so. This, what is this? Hero's ring. We can sell that. We don't need it anymore. Um, yeah. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Okay. So we also get starting to run low on health potions, guys. So, yeah. Okay. So I've got the most. Deru. Doesn't need that many health. One. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
Okay, so that's pretty balanced now. Now we gotta go and buy some mana potions. Yeah, guys, so, um... Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say now. But anyway... Yeah, the thing is, is it's because... Uh, when we use our potions, actually, it's shared... It's shared between all the characters, so... If one out of four characters have potions, everybody will utilize those potions that that character has. But, if that character happens to... Um, fall get knocked down then you can't use potions from that character so it does it's better to actually to just split it between everyone in case you know shit goes wrong and someone gets knocked down um, or dies and then you know you can't heal the party so it is better to just spread you it have out done more than let's shop here um, what we want to do is we want to get some mana potions guys for Tamron and Tar Guys, we got a lot of gold, hey? 161,000. It's not bad. But we need it. We're going to use it, guys. We're going to use it. Also to increase our party size and what have you. What have you? <laughs> I'm saying some old, archaic expressions. Yeah, what have you. I'm not that kind of guy, hey? I don't try and look. There was a part of time in my life where I wanted to look older than I was. Even like wise, like like not even old, but like super old. And what was going through my head? It's a beautiful thing to be young, guys. Just enjoy it. It's one day. Next thing you know, you're 30 years old. According to mathematics, you've lived like three quarters of your life. I mean, this is Africa. Life expectancy here is not too sharp. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rough here. Okay, I don't know. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, yeah, okay, so we got our mana. Let's hit the road. Let's get in there. Let's get busy. I just, I'm just, I'm hungry for the main quest, guys. So I'm gonna just keep going for the main quest. Let's check out how bitching we are now, hey? Bitching. Look at those weapons. Look at those staff. Check out those staves or staff. What would you call a plural for staff? Okay, let's hit it, guys. Let's save smash it okay so we're going to the garden of the ancients i want to vape my vape is charging <laughs> like right before the video it just went dead i hate it when that happens yeah guys i'm addicted to nicotine i'm sorry uh there's no going back for me all right so we didn't explore this crypt so let's go ahead and check it out Maybe just kill... No, let's kill some creeps, guys. Let's kill some creeps. Let's kill some creeps. Okay, so Lothar, we're trying to increase his attack speed now. So we're going for his attack speed. He's maxed out on his damage. Um, geez, Tamara needs mana already. Uh, I think it's because she summoned summoned the creatures. Yeah, it's because we summoned our creatures. Tar, Tar, the nature mage doesn't really r run out of mana that often. It's mostly Tamron runs out of mana. It sucks. We should actually have a look and see if we can't change, put a change to that. Let's just kill these creeps, guys. Here are the creeps. What we got here? There she goes, she's summoning, summoning one again. It sucks, um... Because when, when Tamron isn't attacking, and I have her selected as the control character, um, you can't see the health of the enemies you're attacking because she's not in attack mode. 
attacked because she's not attacking so she actually literally has to be attacking in order for the health bar to come up so that's something that's a bit frustrating but yeah okay guys we're not going to go this way we've cleared out these guys i just wanted to get rid of everybody in the vicinity of the portal so that we don't come out and get attacked from all sides and that kind of shit that kind of thing that kind of stuff i should try and not swear hey guys because i'm sure there's a lot of us out there who want to watch rover slam bean but he swears and then our parents are like no so i'll try i'll try to not be a party mouth guys i'm sorry Okay. But there will be some videos where I shoot with my friends and like they don't care, so I don't care. So yeah. Those are like the really like adult videos on the channel channel, you know, like the grown up videos. Rated eighteen, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's use my mana potion. Let's go in and check this place out. So these tombs have been quite a challenge, eh? Like a lot of them, you know. Didn't... I wonder if I've been in this one. I think I came here last night and like I haven't done it. Oh shit! He defends treasure. I'm gonna get rid of him. Spare no witnesses, guys. No witnesses. The camera is a bit crazy, yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't think we've done this one, guys. See, I'm not attacking again, so there's no... Let's back off. Heal Lothar. Get back in. Yeah, guys, it's going to be a long road for the hardware upgrade to get the new graphics card and RAM. It's going to take a while, guys, but luckily... Um, I still have a few games that we can record. I'm thinking of doing some CSGO videos very soon. Um, unfortunately, my resolution isn't 100%. It's like how SWAT 3 was with a bit of black bars. But, like, it doesn't bother me. So, and then uh, I might, yeah. So, I'm thinking about doing some CSGO vids. And there are a few other games I can still play. So, guys, we're not going to run out of content. There's no way. There's no way we'll run out of content, so I'm just gonna be patient, you know. It takes time. And the day will come. I will get that new card. It will happen. It's just it's just a matter of time. Oh, that was a perfect line, eh? So oh, that finished them. Yeah, I can't wait for Lothar's attack speed to be up. Because he's going to lock. Oh, he's going to... He's going to shred Oaks. He's going to shred Oaks. Jesus, Taras Tarask is... Uh, what is it called? Let's see, what is it called? Trasic. What is it called again? A Trasic. Yeah, he doesn't seem to stay alive very long. Eating... Like destroying my mana. Okay, so we got a champion's death mask there. Let's just clear out the room. Because obviously they protect treasure. And let's just go ahead and say that everything on the ground is treasure. Come on, Tamron. Okay, Lothar is getting charred. Lothar is getting charred. For some reason, I've got Daru selected. I don't want to select Daru. I like having my main character selected. Okay. Okay, so we must... Oh, I almost picked up that health potion. We can't pick anything up until all the skeletons are dead. I said Lothar, I get this uh, thing here. Okay, mana. How the mana is just going. Sapphire Splinter, that's a re okay, everyone's dead. Let's pick up everything. Arbalist. I don't know what an Arbalist is. I've no idea what that is. 
Okay, let's get the death mask. Okay, so we have... How many did we have to collect? The undead spirit of champion Ravan of the Northern Reaches who guards the entrance to the Azunite burial ground. Okay, so... He has agreed to allow you to enter the tombs if you bring him word of his three brothers. Okay, so there's three masks and we have three. Sweet. So that's done. So now we can just proceed with the main quest. So yeah, like I said, we hit two birds with one stone, guys. Oh, shit. Where's the button to switch off the things? Okay, lesser lightning blast. We don't want that. Nobody uses lightning, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, nothing else. No, we're good. Okay, let's go and check to the left here. There was a button. Let's see what this opens. Sweet. Oh shit, I picked up treasure again. Hey, I gotta stop doing that, guys. Because they do like double damage if you make them angry. So, it's best not to make the enemy angry. Doesn't like it. Well, that's a full house. Let's just wait a bit. Okay, so getting swarmed by these little guys. See, you think they, you, you don't think they're dangerous until you encounter a whole swarm. Then you really learn your lesson. You know, you learn to respect those little things. Okay, looks like Lothar is leveled up. Let's just pick up this stuff. Rare Elven sword. You think we'll use that, guys? Let's see. Damage 19 to 38. Let's hand it over to Lothar. Let's see. Okay, we're going to give him more attack speed. Alacrity. That's what it is, hey? Melee attack speed. Yeah. It's going to boost that attack speed. Okay, let's just have a look here and see. Maximum mana. I think we should upgrade, hit this one, guys, for Tamarin next. Let's just, okay, we'll do damage. We'll do damage. And then we will do maximum mana. She, see, there we can upgrade casting speed already. So I think we'll finish, the, we'll do this one and this one, and then we'll hit brilliance and quicken casting. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, I'm loving it. Getting some direction, yeah, guys. Getting some direction. Sweet. Okay, so we're done with this. Let's continue with the main quest. We are done. Let's just fight this skeleton. Take his gold. Okay, so as not burial ground, Snowbrook Haven. Let's continue. Let's go and kill this guy. Summon Greater Bracken Defender. Okay, let's see. What is that? Tar. Summon. 
Bracken Defender. Oh, cool. Greater. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Okay, so now we've gone from normal to greater. That's cool. Um, that's pretty cool. Firebolt. Shoots multiple projectiles in rapid succession. Oh, damage is per projectile. Okay. Mana cost 55. Mana cost 43. So, 250, let's say, 280 damage. And... 82 to 100. So let's say 8, 16, 240. No. Firebolt is better, guys. Okay. Firebolt is better. Let's harvest all these mana potions. Okay. Okay, something hiding in the trees, yeah? Is that a boss? Okay, that's a boss Kurgan. Now we're going to need to get some better weapons for Lothar very soon. Because uh, he's not doing a lot of damage. Let's actually have a look here. 19 to 38, 28 to 32. Yeah, so we need... Ooh, plus 12 max damage, plus 4 min damage. Okay. Min damage. Six strength, eight max damage, plus 25% damage. That's four to five fire damage. Yeah, I think that's better. Plus nine min damage. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Nineteen to thirty-eight. It says twelve max damage, four minimal damage, five percent mana steel. Four to five damage. Four to five fire. So that is eight damage plus plus five is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. It's thirteen, and that's. 17 16 no yeah 16 plus 5% 25% okay now this is better what does this do 3 to 4 ice damage non minimal damage 1 to strength 138 1 to 9 160 162 295 138 295 162 okay now we want to close out the range yeah okay this is better let's pass this on to Daru and see 31 to 51 
34 to 57 plus 26 percent damage restores two life per hit what does this do four to six fire damage okay this is better but that's plus 26 percent damage let's see 82 to 150 59 yeah okay yeah no this is better okay let's go let's pick up all this stuff okay so that was a bit tricky i'm not sure if we've done the right thing but we'll see double check what did I give Lothar now? X okay she's got fifty one thirty one to fifty one fifty four stores two health per hit as four to fire thirty six Yeah, but this does four damage. Five recharge rate. Yeah, no, this is better, guys. Damage 82. Oh, well, it says it does more damage, so let's just see. See, I don't know if some of these uh, stats are not visible to me. Like, like, you know, like, for instance, if it says... 25 percent damage i don't know if that actually reflects here in my combat stats so it's a bit tricky like that's how i've been treating it since the beginning so it's a bit tricky it is a bit tricky okay here's another tune Explore this tomb, guys. Okay. These guys are a bit tough. Okay, let's go and check out the tomb. A frozen crypt. Let's line him up and shoot him down. Still a mean fighting team, guys. What do we got here? Another death mask. Okay. Maybe they're not all his brothers. up the stuff let's go this way and see what they got for us here where is the button there is the button 
Okay, there is no button. Let us open this script and then open the next one. There is button on wall. Yeah. Okay, we got a legendary badass there. Stand in the doorway, dude. Okay, let's take out this badass. Level 30, eh? Kicked his ass. Vic destroys his ass. Okay. Next, this is all secure and checked out. Let's go to the next one. Let us go to the next place. Okay, there's a mana potion there, which I would love to pick up, actually. Okay, let's pop this door. We got here. Oh, these dudes, what are they called? Lurtus. Lurtus. Enchantable, good, adept home, let's heal, some bugs, more these guys. How do we switch this stuff off? Usually there is a um, thing that we can use. Guys, I have to pause and go to the toilet. I will be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Thank goodness guys thanks for your patience thanks for your patience guys i'm back sorry about that it's just it just ruins everything i cannot hold in and play at the same time it just ruins everything okay all right so we were heading out we're heading out okay so it looks like we may have other death marks champions death mark Death mask. Okay, so maybe there's like a few. He only has three brothers, so maybe these death masks have something to do with the quest. I think they do. I don't know why we have four of them, more than three. I guess we just have to collect all of them. So you don't know whose is whose. Let's back it up. Guys, it's time to get. See, I'm already like I haven't vaped for like a half an hour now, <laughs> and I feel like you know, I don't. Know, I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. You know, it messes with my head. Guys, if you're not addicted to nicotine, don't don't do it. Don't just start vaping because you think it's cool. Like I vape because I I would have literally died, be dead by now if I kept smoking. Because I was a chain smoker, guys. Like, I was literally a chain smoker. And people who have my mental health condition, um, they, when I started out, when I first got diagnosed, like, my father went online and he was like, my parents were all trying to, like, learn as much about it as they could. And um, apparently people with my condition, a lot of them die early because of smoking. So... Luckily enough, I live in a time where there is a less deadly version of smoking, which is vaping. So I took up vaping and I haven't stopped since. But like, I really, I, my thing for nicotine, guys, is hectic. I mean, it's not like I will start getting itchy and like screaming and stuff like that. Maybe for a long time. 
but I remember, I remember as a kid watching people in rehab they were still talking about tobacco and nicotine addiction and I saw a guy like lying in bed screaming I mean I can believe I can believe that because I mean when we had lockdown and um, and uh, they banned cigarettes in South Africa I was I was livid I suffered guys I didn't get to that point where I was lying in bed screaming um, but it was bad like it hurts it's not something that you can just give up and walk away from that's for sure so yeah guys don't start if you not to but if you are smoking I would recommend that you start vaping number one it's better because there's a higher nicotine strength and you will probably enjoy it more once you get used to it second is that there are it is not as it is not as unhealthy as cigarette smoke it's a whole different process but yeah guys enough about that now let me vape some passing these kurgan Sorry guys, I've got something in my throat there. Oh, we're fighting these guys, eh? anything out on this plateau okay there's another circle quest we can do with Amran I would imagine okay we have another tomb yeah let's save let's go through this tomb Oh, it's not a tomb. It's a graveyard. Okay. Let's come up here. It was worth the 20 gold, that's for sure. Activate the portal. Okay, let's go and sell some stuff. Go this way.
We have all lost. See, her mana potions are all gone now. <clears throat> so we need to go and buy some more mana potions. You have done more than you know. I wonder what facing the uh I am the ideal companion for you. I've spent my whole life exploring. I'm a great traveler. I'm always in search of hidden tra Well, this war won't last forever, you know. <clears throat> okay, so let's go and whack these creeps at the back here. Yeah? There's something about not having an empty safe space behind me kind of freaks me out. Makes me uncomfortable, so I have to go back, you know, and find them. Okay, there's obviously some underground shit happening here. Where are all these bad guys? Why can we not see them? Weird. Maybe they all spawn... Okay, so that's where our main quest is. Let's open up this door, yeah?
Unique studded tunic. Let's check that out. Whoa! Armor 104! Ho ho ho! Whoa, 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 whoa. 10 strength, 50 health. 80%. Yo, dude. Yo. Guys, that's a find, eh? Yo, that's a find. We better save. We better save right now. Yo. That's insane, guys. Okay, nature magic. I'm at 11, 12 range, 36 health, 4 health, 14 lightning resistance, plus 52% armor, 15 health, 2 armor, 8 ranged resistance. Let's go for that. It's got higher armor. Cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, as in our barrel ground, Snowbrook Haven. What do we have here? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Greetings, stranger. You seem to be a strong soul, full of life. Full of life? I seek the Azunite catacombs. Do you know where it is? What is this place? Uh, so many questions. One does not merely stumble into the Azunite catacombs. The dead guard their domain jealously and do not take kindly to intrusions of the living. How could you have journeyed here and not know that? If the dead can attack me in the realm of the flesh, then I can attack them in return. I have no fear of them. Brave words. That is good. But I cannot let you pass in any case. You are a gatekeeper then. Why will you not let me enter? Because I have been tasked to guard this way until... until I learn something. Others have sought to bring me information, but have failed. The battle must be going ill indeed for so many to ignore the bidding of Champion Ravan. Champion Ravan. I have never heard that name before. What? Have you spent your life under a rock? The deeds of my brothers and I have inspired songs in every tavern and hall throughout the land. We have won more skirmishes against Zaramoth's hordes than any men living. We have never been defeated. Zaramoth's hordes? What do you um, what do you mean? Zaramoth and his followers have been dead and gone for thousands of years. I will not hear such nonsense. Only last month we routed a band of his marauders pillaging the shores across from Iliara. After the battle, we parted ways. My brothers Fiendin, Dazil, and Gregor returned here to the northern reaches to deal with additional attacks. I rejoined Azunai, and last week led his van in a sortie against Zaramoth's outriders. We easily squashed them and were cleaning the blood off our weapons when the messenger found me. I see. A messenger, you say? I. He was sent from Snowbrook Haven to bring me word of my brother's deaths. Except for you. Somehow everyone knows the prowess of the Champions of the North. No mortal man could hope to defeat one of us, let alone three at once. How could my brothers possibly be dead? I set out at once to see if the rituals had truly been performed. The rituals? Yes, the rituals of my people. When a champion of the tribe dies, he must be mourned properly. His body is burned atop the sacred pyre while the minstrels sing all the tales of his deeds for three days and three nights. At sunrise on the fourth day, his ashes are placed in his coffin. And the coffin is interred within his personal crypt. If all was done properly, his death mask is placed atop his coffin and the crypt is sealed. Ah, so had the rituals been performed then? Well, that's the thing. I do not know. I... I cannot remember anything further. It is as if my memory is in shadow somehow. I know that the crypts are nearby, just northeast over the hill in fact. But I cannot seem to gather the will to leave this place. It is very odd. That is passing strange indeed. Is there anything I can do? I must know what became of my brothers. Check inside the crypts. If they are dead, their mask will be in place. Bring them to me so that I may see such proof as there might be for myself. I would be grateful. If I do this task, will you let me pass into the Azunite burial grounds? I, I will not stand in your way. I will perform your task. Their crypts are to the northeast over the hill. You can find them on the southern side of the road. By the light of Ellen, dear, what folly is this? You bring the death mass of not only my three dear brothers, but a fourth? But this means... It cannot be! By all that is holy, what has happened to my hands? 
What are you talking about? And this mask! This mask is mine! Ah, oh, the pain! The memories of a thousand years flooding my mind! It is more than I can bear! My hands, my body, not but bones! Aye, champion, it is the terrible truth. My brother's dead! Myself, dead! No, undead! Oh, how has this happened? A memory, those eyes, burning! Would that such a memory had remained lost? Eyes, what do you mean? His eyes, his eyes captivated me. I could not look away. I came across him amongst the gravestones, just over there. He, he was bent over Dalzio, my poor brother's body. It, it was convulsing in silent screams. Oh, how could I have forgotten his screams? I yelled and ran towards him. What happened? It was a lich. He turned and simply stared at me. I think I dropped my axe. I could not look away, could not move. He came to me and said, A fitting trophy you are, Champion Ravon. You shall abide here beneath the sky and guard my door. Letizo claims you as his prize. A champion of the Northern Reaches made into a doorman. Why did you not simply run? His eyes, they burned into me, and my will faded as if vapor. His voice grew distant. All of my memories, even those of my brothers lying dead at my feet, sped away from me as a horse at a high gallop, until all I knew was to stand here and say but one thing to visitors unlucky enough to address me. What is that? If the traveler wished to discover vast treasures, he should journey into the depths of the catacombs. There he will find a door marked with the symbol of death, and upon its doorstep he should utter the name Letizo. Hmm, and then I suppose this Lich Letizo himself would have his way with the unlucky soul. So why did you not advise me to do this? I do not know. Somehow I saw you and felt hope. It was as if somehow I knew you. I'm glad to have helped you then. Now that you are free, what will you do? Free? I am not free. I am an abomination, a ghoul. I wish only to find a final release from this living death. I do not think that will be possible while Letizo still lives. Consider him destroyed then, as my homage to the great champion Ravan. If you are able to do that, my friend, I will be eternally grateful. I do not think you will have trouble finding him. Speak his name, Letizo. While standing upon the symbol of death at his door, somewhere in the depths of the catacombs. Return with my soul stone. Farewell, Champion Ravon. When next you see me, I shall bring glad tidings. Past Traveler, my thanks to you. <laughs> okay, so let's check out our journal. We got Letiso, Mysterious Chant, Quest Log. Okay, Quest Details. Ravan's Curse, Formula Champion. Okay, so I'm wondering now if these are the As You Not Catacombs. What is this? Yeah, it is. As you know, Burial Ground, Snowbrook Haven. But there uh, is this, this area too. What is going on here? Okay, let's line these guys up. And whack them. Okay, I want Tamron selected. Okay, let's whack him again. Wow, check that out, guys. Everyone is levels up. I love it. Love it. Rare Great Elementalist Cap. What is it, what, what is it on? Combat Magic. Uh, armor 21. Armor 21. 6 armor, 36 health, 4 health, 1 dexterity. No, this is way better. Okay. Alright. Let's level everyone up. For her, what we were doing? We were doing this critical hit. Critical hit. 
Combat magic damage. Nature magic damage. Okay. We'll see what we'll do with her next. I'm not sure what it'll be. Might just upgrade her freeze. Okay. Or we can do summon creature health. Maybe that would be a good one. Okay, I will not be doing that. That seems like a bit of a letdown. We'll do creatures. Let's see, what is this? Magic of magic damage absorbed. Native mages of legend are searching to magical energy that they could absorb a portion of magical attacks and use it to restore their mana. Her mana is fine. Her mana is really fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think the creature, the summoned creature will be better. <clears throat> okay. Okay, what do we have? Yeah, let's explore. Nothing. Let's check our journal for the main quest. Primary Princess of Enter the Aginard Catacombs. Find Princess of Agiline. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, so it looks like that on the other side is just another area. What are these? Morden. Okay, so we'll obviously end down there on our journey to Snowbrook. Okay, so there is nothing in this direction. No bridge of some sort, nothing. Okay, guys, let's go. I don't know if we should push forward because it's already 58 minutes. Oh, let's keep going. Let's keep going, guys. Did we activate this portal? We did, hey. No, we did activate this portal. I think we should just double check in case we didn't. Because, I mean, if I'm forgetting, then we don't, you know, there's doubt. So, we better just check it out. Okay. Do you think our mana recharges when we go through portals? Is everything like just max out health and mana? No, it's not. Def definitely is not. Don't waste time with these guys. Let's go for it. 
at last the Ashenite burial grounds. I wish they would just not talk when there's enemies around. Honestly, it is rather frustrating. Okay, so. Let's see. Is this not a shrine of some kind? Or are these just the symbols of the Aegis? I don't know. Something about this place makes me think there's a secondary quest happening here. But I guess we'll see. Down into the catacombs we go. Good got 14 ice resistance, 10 fire resistance, 4 armor, 3 mana. Two, 4 armor, 3, 4 health, 6 armor. Twenty one mana. Fire resistance, 90, 90, 30 mana, ash resistance. This is a resistance ring. Four armor, six armor. Okay, found it. That's where it belongs. Okay, let's keep pressing on, guys. First time someone's ever opened a door on us. Maybe the game's changing, guys. Game is getting more and more complex. The plot does thicken. Not to pick up gold when we're near these guys.
Something big, Dodd, yeah. I love how it's called a great small shield. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, let's get back to fighting these guys. Spiral amulet. Right, mom's better. Is this the main route? Or what's going on here? Let's just scope it out. Yeah, that looks like it's the main route. Is the bridge broken though? That is the way forward, so let's just scope out this alternate route. <clears throat> Trying to pick up the speed because I want to get to the next teleporter. Tribal Greaves. Let's check those out. Wolf Spirit. Cries Nature Magic 14. Armor 7. Let's just go here. Armor 7. Oh, I've already got them. Okay, cool. Probably be worth a lot of gold. Okay, this guy is made it to the party. Resistant to lightning. Okay. Okay, he just took me out there one shot. have here 
I think. Just one foul swoop and he just knocked me down. Knocked Tamron down there. Okay. If you don't want to select Lothar, as you guys well know. Okay, so this is just like a whole nother route. Linking up with the main route, yeah. Okay, so there's an alternate route. Let's go and explore that alternate route, guys. This one down here. Okay, let's go to Lothar skills. Increases attack speed. Selecting Lothar. This seems to take us somewhere. Where does this take us? Ancients. I don't think we should be coming this way yet. I'm getting a sneaky feeling that this is actually whole nother. I think this is where we continue our quest, I think. Weird. Let's head back guys. We can always come this way again. Let's just head back. I don't know. I think we might be missing out on some gameplay coming this way. down there let's go back down we can always come back and explore it but just a bit concerned that we might be 
going the wrong way. Okay, cool. There's a portal. Let's just go down and uh, take out those bad guys. Open up that chest. Oh, Lothar's got some serious armor now, hey guys. A hundred armor. So there's a large health potion. Oh, so it was just a potion lying on the ground. Okay. <clears throat> Let's head up, guys. Okay, so he has a portal. It's activated and I think we'll stop here, guys. again okay okay cool all right guys i think that's where we'll leave it off for tonight we made a lot of progress we did very good um we good thing that we hit two birds with one stone and actually collected all the other death masks because that also opened up a second request for us because we had actually found them all so yeah he ended up you know going crazy with us and just opening up and telling us about how he died and what happened the guardian of now the the as you know, uh burial ground um so yeah, and he told us a whole story about what he encountered and what killed him and why he had been there for so long. So I think we had a second, we got a second request from him sending us uh, over the hills or something to go and find this baddie that 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 captured his soul or something. And we had to get his soul crystal. So we're gonna do that. We also discovered I'm not sure what we should do um, because that there was that side path that I just took. That took us back up onto the hills. I don't know. I think in the next video, that'll be the first thing I check out. I think I'll go that way and check it out just to make sure we're not missing out on anything. Because uh, something tells me it's just a little side path. But I didn't want to um, go too far because I wasn't sure if that was in fact not the uh, the main area. And we still had to clear out the As You Night Burial Grounds. So yeah, I'll check that area out in the next video. I think that'll be the first thing I'll do. And then just to make sure and see what's going on there. Because I can always come back. It's just we were short for time. And I wanted to get to the next teleporter. And so I decided to just backtrack, come back. And it was a good thing we did. Because 
um, we probably would have still been wandering around wasting more time video getting too big too long um, so yeah we found our teleporter and here we are coming out guys thank you again for all your support I hope you enjoyed um, this video I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me watching this video yeah guys thank you for all your support on my channel thank you for all your support guys uh your participation sorry i mean participation thanks for your participation in my channel guys and your support whether it's liking subscribing commenting viewing or sharing my posts that i do when i that i make on facebook when i roll out the new videos yeah guys um i don't know when this video is going to get to you but load shedding has been breaking my back when it comes to the channel and um yeah, it's just it's just a matter of time. Just gotta wait it out. But y'all guys, thanks for watching. Rover Slam being out. Peace. Much love, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.